So when it comes to balancing an engine, one of the things that we're going to do is we have to weigh these components. So what we're going to do is we're going to take our pistons, let's say you have an eight cylinder engine, we're going to weigh all eight pistons, but we're going to weigh them one at a time. We're going to put each piston on a scale, the scale is very sensitive and it goes down to about a tenth of a gram. Then we're going to take the next piston, we're going to take that one off and we're going to put the next piston on there and we're going to weigh all eight pistons. We're going to take our lightest piston out of the bunch and we're going to put the lightest piston on there and then we're going to zero out our scale and that's going to be our standard. So if I put the heavier pistons on now after zeroing out the scale with my lightest piston, what I'm going to see on the scale is I'm going to see the difference. At that point then we need to take our pistons that are heavier and we need to shave some material off of them. Different manufacturers of pistons tell you where you should shave material. Some of them have you do it here, some of them have you do it here. Regardless of that, what we do is we shave a little bit of material off the heavier pistons and then we continue to weigh those pistons until we weight match all of them. When we get all of the pistons weighing the same, now we have balanced the pistons. This is part of piston preparation. Another thing we do is we're going to weigh our connecting rods as well. Now we have two types of motions. We have reciprocating motion at the top here and rotational motion down here. So because of that we want to split the difference. So we're going to, what we're going to do is we're going to hang the big end of the rod and we're going to weigh the small end here. We're going to weigh all the small ends. We're going to take all of our rods and weigh the small ends with the big end hanging and then we're going to take the lightest small end and we're going to use that as a reference. We're going to zero it out and the rest of the rods we're going to put them on and we will see the difference on the scale and then we just take and start very lightly sanding material off of the top of the rod. The manufacturers add extra material on the top of the rod here and also on the bottom so that when you balance it you can remove some of that. Once you get all of the small ends weighing the same, now we have balanced the small end. Then you're going to flip the rod around, you're going to hang the small end, and we're going to lay the big end on the scale, and we're going to do the same thing. We're going to find the lightest big end, zero the scale, and then we're going to put the rest of our rods on here, and we will see how much heavier they are, and then we simply just start sanding the balance pad area here until we get all of the small and big ends weighing the same down to within about a tenth of a gram. Now once you get that done, now you have equalized the weight of your rod, you have equalized the weight of your piston, we're also going to equalize the weight of the piston pins. We're going to weigh each pin individually and we're going to shave a little bit of material off of the piston pin to make them all weigh the same. Now that we have all of these weighing the same, we're going to add our pin, our piston, our connecting rod. We're also going to put our, our rings on there that are going to go with that piston and since the rod bearings are going to ride in the rotating assembly here, we're also going to add the rod bearings that are going to go in there to that and now we have now we are able to calculate our bob weight. This is actually the rotating weight that's going to be on the crankshaft and this is what we're going to use to set up our crankshaft in the balancing machine as far as stacking the bob weights onto the journals to spin the crank.